You know, whenever we talk about Arkham or we, we talk about video games, like superhero games, like I've played a lot, right? I'm more of a card gamer myself, but I don't sit at home and play card, right? But here's, here's the annoying part of it. Because I call it an annoyance, right? When people make video games, it's not about taking inspiration from other games or saying, look at what that video game did. You know, that, that video game had that sort of style and that sort of combat, you know, that sort of stealth approach. You know, I feel like you have to be able to give the, 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 the gamers confidence. you got to be able to give them um, inspiration. you got to be able to let them feel creative, like, in their methods. And... And uh, the the main purpose of me saying this is free roam or or playing it in the main story, especially if it's a one character title, one character game. You know, I, I've played a lot over the years, and I've and I've always noticed this. I've always said to myself, you know, what is the difference with with certain games? How certain games do it, and they and they can create a game from scratch or or really ponder ideas or really have those conversations at that table because I've seen behind the scenes footage. I've even been shown behind the scenes footage of people just having a conversation, you know, scrapping game titles, you know, scrapping ideas, you know, replacing mechanics, you know, just really, really sitting there and saying they won't buy this, they won't buy into this. And it's like, it's all a fantasy at the end of the day, because especially when it comes to that genre of video games, it's like, you know, it's not something that you you know, get in real life, it's like a a character that you get to really hold in your hands, and, and even when you look at something like Batman Arkham Knight, the amount of criticism it gets, because there isn't a sequel, there isn't a team out there that can make a sequel for that story, uh, for those characters, even Damian Wayne, or, you know, WB Games Montreal won't make Suicide Squad the game, they just went straight for Gotham Knights, you have to look at these gaps. You have to look at these years and, and really say it took them, you know, eight to nine years or even ten years or however long they thought of, about these games and say they were working on a, sui a Suicide Squad game. <sighs> Let me say that again. So these de these developers, right, at WB Games Montreal, they were working on a Suicide Squad game, right? They were working on uh, making Deathstroke a part of their team and obviously I, I think they they were they were to have him a, a a vital part of the story which I would have liked but then they 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 couldn't because they they weren't the studio around to do it but then they obviously got the rights to make a smaller character based game like Batman they they were the team that came up with Batman Arkham Origin so you're sitting there like if they were working on Superman they were working on that game. Why didn't that game ever get released? If they were working on Suicide Squad, the game, why wasn't that ever really released? Or Damian Wayne, right? A continuation of Arkham. You know, even though they don't have the title, they don't have the rights to the, the character. You know, obviously they, they were handed the assets to make those stories, right? That the, the Arkham Origins game we're talking about. You know, you ask a lot of questions, where did that game go? Or where did those games go? I can always sit here and say, it's not game. It's not just one game, bro. It's games, right? They're, they're, they're ideas and, and, you know, all you have to say is, it all came from Batman Arkham. It all came from Rocksteady. It all came from them, you know, moving away from them and saying, we're another studio, we're another company, but we're not at Rocksteady's level. They might acknowledge Rocksteady, or Rocksteady might acknowledge them. They they might work together to sort of not have their ideas cross. But here's the thing, you have to say, Rocksteady will never go back to Arkham. They will never go back to those mechanics, they will never go back to it. And I think, even when I play Batman Arkham Asylum now the remasters or Batman Arkham City or even Arkham Origins even if you know I, I I like them or I don't or you know I will always sit there and say they will never be another Arkham game in the series that hits harder than this because they had professionals working on it and I and I say this with all due respect you need when you're working on a game like that you need to have confidence and a level of skill precision to really put that time and effort into saying this is exactly what it is it's not like we sat there and knew what we wanted you know we worked really hard and and long to really make it so that 
everything flows, the cutscenes flows, the gameplay flows, the combat free flow, every everything, every aspect to me is like that's what I, I, I see. I still I still feel like Arkham City was a breakthrough because you can even say that look at Bruce Wayne. I mean, the intro is probably one of the hardest in the series because you get to start off as that one character and then you get to see up as Batman and then you get handed the controller and then you truly get to experience the world of Arkham City as Batman. And I'm saying, like, it's the same with Spider-Man PS4 2018. You know, you look at these superhero titles, it's like, it's never often you get video games like that and you want to say, like, I want that version, but I just want a better version where it plays and runs at the, you know, the, the right quality that it's supposed to run on. And I feel with most games, it's like they just feel the need to make new games. And most of the games that they play, they don't look as sharp as Arkham City. Now, I could say I like the nostalgia of the game. I like how how when it came out. I didn't play it a lot. And I still have it on my shelf. I don't have a console to play it on. But you know I feel that's the issue. Most games have today. Because people will say. It's such a shame I can't play this game on the newer consoles. I can't play this version. And I can't even update this version. Because there isn't an updated version of this game. On the store. And that's what really holds it back. And for many people. I think that's an excuse because you have to sort of look at it like that's what held those games back, what holds games back, what holds it back is even Gotham Knights being released on PS4, it's not a, you know, it's not a next gen game, you know, like this game was supposed to come out back in the day, this game was supposed to be the future of superheroes, like, you know, when you look at the, the, the superhero genre, there aren't that many video games that compare to Arkham or Rocksteady's titles because they, they just, they just, you know, they're just extraordinary, you know, I, I've even, I've even played all the games and even Arkham Knight, like, despite what I feel, you know, obviously I, I looked at it and thought it's a, it's a good game, it's got good combat, it's got an okay storyline, when I say storyline, I'm not saying I'm not saying about the Arkham Knight being the main villain and not being the main villain, or Scarecrow being the main villain and not being the main villain, or Joker being the main villain and not the main villain. What I'm trying to say is I've all, I've already covered this about foreshadowing. I don't want to say it again. I don't like repeating myself. Only in freestyle would ever do that. But when I say that, I mean a sequel. I say like a continuation. When you when you drop a bombshell like the main character's gone, he won't be the hero anymore. He's not going to save people. He's not going to have that he's not going to have the mantle anymore. Like he might be around, you know. To me, Batman is still out there and Damian Wayne is out there and and I feel like there are so many ideas that these developers could come up with and we're just never going to see it because nobody wants to go there nobody wants to come up with that story and say Batman is out there somewhere and I'll find him you know th there there isn't a level of mystery there isn't a sense of oh this is a hunt let's go find Batman that there isn't a, a sense of adventure because a lot of people have to believe that he's gone and he he's not you know, he's not the Arkham protector, he's not, he's not the Arkham Knight, like I thought he was, he's, he's replaced by these knights, uh, the Gotham Knights, but it's not that story, it's not a sequel, it's not a continuation, it's not even acknowledging the series, it's just saying here's another story, and I feel you have to write stories in life, you have to say where do we go from here, and even if so, like, is it possible? And that's that should always be a goal in your mind because there are a lot of good writers out there. There are a lot of good people out there. And, and even even the, the, the title, Arkham Knight, it's like, it's a very good game. It's got a very good level of creativity to it. You can play it how you want. You got AR training. You got a, a killer ass, you know, DLC. You know, it's a killer ass. No, I mean a stellar story to it at at times you know i, I mean for me I, I i think the pace is a little bit off but you know you could you could play it you know